starting to get to the stage where they have the level six. And we see that out of Entity. Both Fishman and Katomi. The smoke down bottom to try and target down Whisper, but Stinger is nearby with a global silence. He's going to be able to get it off just after the fall from Katomi. So a couple of ultimates expended, but it will be Beast Coast that get a kill nonetheless. Under attack. I think you're very happy with that. And, and just look at what happens at the same time. This is what I was talking about in game number one with K1. And thinking about they really want to try and get the net in onto him. Might need to pop oh some of the Siren to catch. This is starting to come through. There's the song. Whisper gets the ultimate off. To be a decent amount of damage if you get the fall. Pure is going to be able to sidestep at the once. Radiance Middle Tower. East Coast, they're going to bring some more resources as well to try and take this top skirmish. But even Entity are taping another member in as well. Pure is vulnerable to the damage at the moment. Slider going to try and pile his way through the tree line. He might take out to the curse. Let's see if the damage is going to be enough. Pure actually looks to step back in. The life still is not enough to keep him alive. So now East Coast, they've got a free opening to continue to dive under the tower. Whisper's going to go for Fishman. And meanwhile, K1 will try. Try and catch up the Toby as well, because they got Sea Smile wrapping on the other side. Beautifully done from Beast Coast, getting three kills enough. It becomes a fourth core for the team if you enable that. Dolma. Careful here. Smoke, they'll be able to catch him out as he retreats back, and where the charge starts to come through. There's a great ward to utilize. They know no one else is playing around the triangle. An easy kill picked up onto Stormstormer. Kitomi and Fishman should be able to at least get one rebuttal. They're even going to be able to glimpse back a second member as well as Gojira. There's so much damage getting pumped in thanks to the Unleash onto Kitomi. So at least we'll get two kills and Kitomi picks both of them up. So getting himself close to the map here for Beast Coast. If they miss that timing, I'm, I'm slightly concerned. Can afford to do it though. Actually, a meteor hammer here on Toby. Down. Oh, so not a good position to be in when you're against the pink lead. I'm gonna bounce back and forth onto multiple oh, walls and even see Smile just down. clips the disruptor as well by the secret shop. So, two pickoffs again into another tier one tower as all five members are here from Beast Coast to be able to capitalize on the kills. And K1 just spent the entire time farming while being nearby as well. So, popping the god strength, taking some camps, pushing the lane, taking the tower. This is the beast burst that we Dyer's come to expect. The freestyle Dota. Really full effect. Want to try and catch Katomi. Fusal Blade's going to do a lot of work to be able to prevent the escape away. Dyer's bottom tower. Radiant are scanning. Yeah, because you don't really have the armor on Dyer, do you? Like Marcy, a little bit of coming through thanks to the phase boots. Disrupt as you fall. So if you run into fish, man. He's not going to be alive for too long, bottom lane. But Stinger is... Oh, uh, use of a global silence very early on. Stun's going to be off the mark, and Empty's actually going to bring the reinforcements to take the team fight. Pure can turn it back around with the BKB. Doesn't get the initial stun, so c Smart's going to protect it for the moment thanks to the pulverized use. Advantage that he has. Can he trick through the treat? No. Oh, he's going to find him. And oh, and he TP before the BKB. He's going to try and do as much right-click damage as possible. Pure is nearby. Let's see the power of the Chris of Hayes along with the Shadow Fiend right-clicks, but it looks like it's not enough. One stun into the fall of drag back thanks to the Aghanim Shard. Nope. It will get the kill of the ages, at least, from the Death Requiem. Minor thing. They're cutting off Pure, though. Stinger's gonna walk up the high gun. The rest of the team off to the right side as well. So Pure should get a kill. See if he can keep it out afterwards. The BKB will be able to cover that. Of course, so there shouldn't be any escape. It's just gonna come down to how long it really takes for Beast Coast to try and get the kill. Again, no bash is coming off the spot. Oh, that's twice now. And he can blink away. Really unlucky. Beast Coast. See, Smile's gonna be there. They'll use the side of a K1. Jumps behind. No hesitation with the BKB. They'll stop the song. It'll help the rest of the team to dance into the tree line and find Ish in the lane. Try and get a pick off, but they just can't seem to find the right one. Oh, there's a DD as well. The oh, fight that entity we're looking to take. Now you have to try and force engagement into it. Oh, no, it's and he done. gets a double stun in the river as well. But the follow up is there thanks to Whisper's control. Two heroes just melt under this. And now Toby as well is caught up. He's coast everywhere across the map. They're even thinking about the use of the song to, to cover the retreat. But no messing around with Singer. Glow down as well with a long requiem but it's just there's no synergy at the moment the spells have been casted but not perfectly executed he's totally, he's gonna try and get the media combo out but c smell in a position where he can just protect k1 and, and this should be all she wrote they want a long one last team fight 
one last ride. The East Coast being able to tie up the series one to one. A really, really convincing game two from them. Even more convincing than what Entity showed in game number one.